Hi boys and girls, this week for religion, our lessons are on prayer. So that's very exciting to me. I love to pray. Um, I love to be able to talk to God um, by myself or, you know, with our class or with our church. But I really enjoy praying by myself. Uh, it's something I always have done since I was a little girl. Um, something my grandmom taught me. So it was something that we had special between us. So I want to read a passage from the Bible in my my children's Bible. Um, and then I have a little story to tell you. And that's going to be it for this lesson because I want you to think about what, what we're learning. The passage we're going to read is when um, God gave Jesus the Our Father. Um, something that we all pray and we've prayed together. So this is from the book of Matthew, chapter 6. And this in this book, it's called When You Pray. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. That means don't be like the people that say they're going to do good things and then they're mean. No good. For they love to stand and pray in the synagogues. Remember, that's where Jesus was raised Jewish and synagogues were or their house of worship, like our churches are, and at the street corner, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases. And that means don't just sit there and say, oh, I promise I'm always going to be good. I promise I'm always going to listen to mom and dad. I promise I'm always going to make my bed if you give me candy. No good. No one's perfect. I still don't listen to my mom sometimes. I still have trouble sometimes knowing that I'm supposed to do the chores that I'm supposed to do. Sometimes I get upset and I yell. I, I make mistakes. Everybody does. So there's no point in telling God that you're always going to do the right thing because he knows not so true. He just wants you to be sorry when you do do something wrong and to pick a different path. When you are praying, there you go, I just said that, for they think they will be heard because there are many words. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way, our father in heaven, hallowed be the, your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespassers, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. And whenever you fast, do not look to small, like the hypocrites, for they disguise their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. I added that last piece that we don't see in the Our Father, because again, I wanted you to say that God is more interested, not in what you say, but your actions and what you do. Don't sit there, like I said, and say, oh, I'm always going to do this. I'm always going to do that. Just be honest and say, I'm really going to try. I'm going to try to be good. Now, my little story I wanted to tell you. When I was a little girl, I have uh, four cousins and one sister. So there were six of us when we were all together. Um, my cousins were all boys. My, my uncle, my mom's brother had four boys. We spent, the six of us together, a lot of time at my grandparents' house, which was down near the beach by the time this happened. They moved down to Ocean City, New Jersey. And we spent a lot of time there in the summer because our parents worked and we would go to our grandparents and it was always fun because we always got to hang out together and see my cousins, which we didn't see a lot because they had moved to a different state. So I remember one time we were getting ready for bed. I'm the youngest out of all my cousins. And my grandmom said it was time for prayers and everyone knelt by their bedside because that's what we did. We, we lined up and we knelt at the bed and they started saying prayers. And I started crying. And my grandmom asked me what was wrong. 
And I said, I don't know these prayers. And I couldn't have been older than four or five. And I remember it so well. And she said, that's okay. I have a prayer for you. And I was so excited. I was so excited. My grandmom had a prayer that I could do. I guess I was a little nervous because I couldn't remember a lot when you're that young. And my grandmom said, God bless my family. God bless my friends. And God bless me. And that was it. It was a very simple prayer. And I started to say it. And every night I said it with my grandmom. And even when I came back home, I said it at night by myself or with my mom or with my sister. And I grew up saying that. And I have taught all of my children that prayer. So I still say it to this day, every night before I go to bed. God bless my family. God bless my friends. And God bless me. Sometimes I add more. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes my kids add more. Sometimes they don't. But it's a very special prayer. And it's something that I hold close to me because my grandmom's not here anymore. But each time I taught one of my children that prayer, it was like a little piece of her was back and that she was there with us and she was praying. So for today, I want you to find a nice quiet spot like God asked you to in the Bible and just say a prayer, whether it be a Hail Mary or an Our Father or something that your family always says. We're just talking to God and saying, hey, I'm here. I just wanted to talk to you. Okay. We'll have another lesson on prayer this week and it'll be a little more interactive. I just wanted to introduce you and kind of get you into it. But we're all really good prayers because we pray every day together. And I'm sure you pray at home with family and by yourself. Have a great day. I love you.